to begin you want your paper now i'm using some that already has a pattern on it so it'll create a self striping effect but you can color it in yourself if you prefer to begin you want to take your paper and then turn it over so that you can do your markings on your unpatterned side next you want to take a ruler so i'm going to use an inch here so i'm going to do half an inch for each edge you want to put this along the edge of the paper i know it doesn't show up on this background sorry but you can take it and mark out half an inch all along the ruler until you've gone along the whole edge of your paper And once you've done, you should have something that looks like this. So now you want to turn it over and mark the other side. And to create the triangle point, I want to take the ruler and mark at a quarter of the inch. And then just do this again every half an inch all the way up to the other side of the paper. So then you've marked both sides and they should be slightly off center to create your point for your beads. So next you can draw a line to mark out where your points are if you want. I'm just going to use a guillotine but I'm just going to demonstrate. So as you mark out you'll create a point as you go along and you can do that all the way down your paper. But I'm not going to bother because I've got a guillotine so I'm going to cut it like that. So if you're using a guillotine, you can just go from point to point that you marked out on your paper and then cut. So get rid of the first piece because that won't be a triangle. Then for your next piece, again, cut and then move to your next point that you've marked out, up to the point and then cut and then move it again, cut. And just keep doing this all along the paper until you've cut all your triangles. So you should end up with something that looks like this. Next you want to take a cocktail stick or something else that you can wrap your paper around. And then take one of your pieces of paper and your glue. And you want to dab a little bit of glue on the largest end on the pattern side. And then you want to carefully start wrapping this round your cocktail stick. This might take a little bit of practice because it's quite fiddly to begin with, but once you get into it, you should be able to do it no problem. Just carefully wrap that round the cocktail stick until you've got about an inch remaining of your tail end. So once you've got a little bit of your triangle point still sticking out, you can just adjust everything so that it's nice and central. You want to dab a little bit of glue on your non pattern side just so that you can press it down to finish your bead. And then just press it all down into place and it should stay all stuck together on your cocktail stick like this. So you can leave it or you can take it off straight away like I do. And then repeat these steps for as many beads as you want to create. And you should end up with beads that look like this.